What's up guys? I just wanted to take a moment and kind of like introduce this video to you guys really quick. This is actually taken from a live stream that me and Chris did on Twitch. So we do a live stream on Twitch uh, every Sunday and it's for primarily videos that get blocked on YouTube. I like doing live streams with our community. Normally that's at 8 o'clock Central Standard Time every Sunday we'll be doing a live stream on YouTube and then if we do stuff like concerts and things that get copyright blocked we'll do those over on Twitch so if you guys would ever like to join us there will be a link in the description below and then also just know that we do start off on YouTube so in saying that this entire reaction is actually up on our patreon right now and the link to that will be in the description below but this is me introducing my friend Chris to BTS the cypher medley if you guys are new to the channel please smash that sub and let's freaking do this this one is the cypher melodies we've got a lot of people here wanting to see the cyphers and dude this is a direct clap back to a lot of the people that were hating on our friends in bts wait cypher medley mm -hmm. mm, what, I, so this is uh so there's cypher one two three and four and um we can tell you in chat <clears throat> chat can tell you i can tell you when we're going from one to the next but they're like oh. they're not the full song uh, and this is a live performance, so it's not the entire song. So and, is this uh, all four of them, mm -hmm. but just a mashup? Yeah. What up, it's John and Chris? How you doing over there? How are you tonight? All right, man. You ready? Cypher. Yes, yes, by yes. the way, super clap back. Super freaking clap back. I'm going to actually go and do this so where you can see the video just a little bit bigger. Um, This is actually pretty good. It's just a little more spicy. But I, I don't mind that. I freaking made it. Uh, yeah. Are like we doing spice. Ding? I don't know that we're doing Ding. The only one that is a full song is Cypher 4. I absolutely love Cypher 4. Please let me know in chat which is your favorite Cypher. Because for me, Cypher 3 and 4 are definitely really heavily competing with each other. But Cypher 4 gets me because the melody in Cypher 4. So please drop it in chat what your favorite one is. And then Chris, after this, let me know which one your favorite just based off From of the what medley. we're hearing. Okay. Yeah. We've got a lot of Cypher 3 and 2's. Super Bowl! Get back to the Cypher! Cypher 1 is a to give my whole word from BTS, I'm gonna follow. They got a song on the G3, though they get all on that flow. Go by the top of me, Momo Chewa, got a god, I saw the hell we heard. The back in the day. The Nido, Nido, rhyme, the more like the Nido. The idol, but I'm a rock with. To the Nido, don't I play the boy, you took a track with Cypher. So they pull the record, I'm up, blow the mind. They walk! Cause no one now, I'm not a major. TV screen in the chair, well, I'm rapper close from no. Come put my goals in, yo. They bet on nigga, one how to go. This one's two, correct? Am I right in that? I believe that this is starting Cypher 2. So yeah, the beat in this one's probably one of my favorites. But also, like, dude, anybody that was out there saying, like, oh, you guys aren't rap anymore. This is straight up rap. Yeah. Straight up. I mean, the first one, like, that they did was all rap. Yeah. J-Ho just murdered some bars. Freaking rap style. So, like, there's no... I don't know, man. I don't know. Either way, this is Cypher 2.
So he just said the whole go home to Hawaii. That was that part of the video. Uh, please start the stream. Enjoy BTS more. Yes. How you doing? But that was the part where he was talking to the people uh, in that, uh, in the, I believe <clears throat> the interview that they did. I freaking love that. That's freaking beautiful. That was so good. You better back it up so we can hear slow. Oh, we did. Back it up a little bit further. We'll go even another one. But, dude, yes. There's so many good lines in here that Suga said. Like, didn't he just say he be bewitched your girlfriend, I believe, is one thing that he said, which I thought was freaking hilarious, dude. Suga is like a sniper with lyrics. <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna do something together really quick, okay? At the starting of this line, exhale and see if you can hold an exhale going this entire bar. Did you just hear how long that rap was? Wait, I don't so know where the hell he like breathed out at. Like breathe oh, okay. in. Like right. I'm gonna try this. Breathe out, okay? Anybody in chat, try this with us. But breathe in, and then right before he starts this line, start breathing out and see if you can hold this as long as Sugar does. Because, good God, how did he do this? Okay. I'm I have an advantage because I've, I've learned to hold my breath for yeah. a really long time. Yeah. Okay, let's get straight like track. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is starting Cypher 3, and I absolutely love this song. There's a dude named Supreme Boy that's going to be in, involved in this one, and like this melody at the starting is kind of hear you how you hear it Cypher 3. So it's. What you gonna do? Hey. Hey. What you gonna do? Hey. 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 Are you ready right now? What you gonna do? Kill the killer. Me I'm a whistle I'm a kill. Four. 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 Dude, he's so freaking good. RM is like, uh, RM, I mean, dude, I love J-Hope as well, too. I feel like J-Hope has more of like a light to him, you know, like he's like, a lot of his stuff i mean he definitely does have some really good brutal parts in like cypher part one for sure but i feel like most of his stuff is like he's more of a hope 
you know, to yeah. a lot of people. Sugar and RM are just freaking savages. Yeah. And I freaking love their lyrics, man. I feel like th- they start. Which one yes. of them started out as rapping? I guess. Both Technically, Sugar and RM uh, did start out as rap line, and then I think J Hope began as a dancer, and then Sugar and RM taught him how to rap. Okay, that's the difference. Yes, Sh- uh, J Hope was I'm the one that old. they taught. Mm-hmm. He didn't so, start in the underground. I don't think he did. Please correct me if I'm wrong. He might have started out in the hip hop dancing underground because okay. I know he he was he started in as dancing. Uh, rap and outro tier is so good. It really is. I'm not saying, like, not to take anything away from uh, J-Hope at all, because I love freaking yeah, J-Hope. Yeah, it's just the it's difference just the in difference. styles. Nope. That's Just Sugar and RM are underground. Okay, okay, that's what we're discussing. Yeah, just yeah, the difference yeah. in, in delivery and the style. Like, yeah. underground is more like you're in a battle. Yes, dude, Like, you're, yes, in, a, you're in a fight. Yeah. And, and so that's what their lyrics mm-hmm. portray. It's yeah. like, wham, 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 yeah. wham. Like, punching. And it does make a lot of sense. A lot of people are saying uh, J-Hope raps with his body. And I know that that might sound weird to some people. But it definitely is the case. Like, he has different flows that would make more sense to somebody that's more either like a drummer or a dancer. Which is like, those two things I feel like somewhat kind of, kind of do connect. Even though, like, you're a drummer. And I mean, like, dude, like... If you really tried and worked at it, I if think I really tried to dance, too. I could probably hell it. Yeah, because like, dude, but it's. The, I, it's I mean, I have a, I have a good rhythm. sense of an internal rhythm, like yeah. naturally. Yeah. I mean, I never took drum lessons. Whenever I first sat down to a drum set, I could keep a normal beat, mm-hmm. which was weird to me. Yeah. But it's just something I guess you can be born with sometimes. Yeah. Uh, just a, na- a mm-hmm. natural sense of rhythm. And the way they deliver lines are very punchy, very powerful. Yes, dude. <clears throat> I, I mean, that's one yeah. reason that I punchy. I'm, yes. Literally, really it's like a fight you yeah. throw your blows mm-hmm. that's what they're doing they're throwing their blows like yeah. their lyrics are blows really unique flow and style it's really easy to vibe to uh but he definitely goes off he definitely does that as well too and i will say this like j-hope for me has always been one of those people since the first reaction i've ever done of theirs to where i'm like who is this person and then i'd hear him again and i'd be like who's that again and like Every time I heard him, I was like, who is this? And it was always J-Hope. So, like, I love <laughs> that he's so uh, versatile. He can do everything. Yes. But, all right, I'm going to back it up just a little bit. But this is RM right here, right? This is RM, yeah. Okay. This one is my favorite freaking cypher. I absolutely love the message of this one. Ah, Cypher 3 is pretty ballin' because it's just like, you're liking it. It's wild. Candy King. I can't stop fireball. drinking it, but I don't know if I like it yet. He likes it. It's wild. I think it's- you should love yourself. <laughs> Dude, okay, so yes, message-wise, Cypher 4, this song is my favorite for sure. Just the message. It's pretty much saying, find something better to do with your time than hating on me. This is definitely Cypher 4. And I love that melody, dude. I can't hear this without being stoked. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. I'll learn how to play that on piano. Right, that part. I love it here. Okay, 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 okay. I love this so much. It's such a good song. Okay, 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 okay. It's like a party. Okay, okay. okay, okay. Oh, that's real. Hello. Sorry, babe. Bottom, bottom. Sorry, babe. Texture, texture, texture. Sorry, babe. Oh, face, bottom. I don't know. Sorry, babe. Some shingle with the sun. Sorry, babe. Ah. 
นอมูกงจ้าเดชอบ้าสูงเท่านี้จ้าโอ้ไม่รู้ All right, listen. I'm gonna back it back up. I swear, but that is my favorite moment of Sugar in a live concert ever. Where he's just freaking doing this, like singing, and then the whole freaking crowd around him. That's like such a freaking flex. It's probably my favorite moment ever of his on stage. <laughs> You're like, is that one more? ever, ever? Yes. It's so freaking good. But yeah, pretty much in this song, he's pretty much saying like, "If I'm sorry for everything that I do that you hate, everything I do, what you, my face isn't that of an idol. You don't think like, and dude, so good. But either way, this that freaking part." Right, I'm gonna back it up just a little bit more. <laughs> I love the accents from yeah. all the other men. It's so good right there, dude. It's not bad, you got all that, you had a song that you had all that. Get them all tight, just them all bad, like you don't tap, then they call back to the boat. Looking all down, then I know that, cut the song down in the middle side with a song. Pull the back, and for you, then you do so shit. Get all the get, I'm not a wolf, man. But I'm not an easy, all the bad, I get when I touch you, I guess I'm gonna kiss that on the top, then I get. Talk to the top, me and I'm down, pull it on the top, and this is coming to put it in my gong, and I get. Say what? Okay, dude, that is like the most savage of freaking verses ever. Pretty much just saying like, I'm sorry that you're living a mediocre life. Keep on living that. I'm going to keep loving myself. Yeah. Boom. Did not mean to crush this, but dude, oh my God. I just like the savagery that is that part of that verse is so freaking good. Ugh. Yeah. 
The savagery! And again, this actually came to us from Enjoy BTS More, so please go hit them with that freaking sub on YouTube. Wow. That's so cool. Dude. Alright, what are your thoughts? I loved it. That is probably one of my favorite live per- <clears throat> oh, God. I feel like I really loved uh, Suga's rapping the best. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. On all of that. Like that part at the end, mm -hmm. and the way that he was rapping, I really liked it. Yeah. Do you have a know. favorite cipher? Which one's your favorite out of those that you heard so far? I know I was not... trying to figure that out the whole yeah. time I was watching, but I feel like every time they went to a new one, I liked it better and better, mm -hmm. and, and then I just kind of forgot because I started liking all yeah. of them. Yeah, <laughs> that's almost <laughs> so, what happened with me with the cipher series because like, we watched I would one have before. To, I would have to watch them all again to really be able to pick it out. Yeah, I guess. yeah. We will come back to but, you guys with a freaking answer on that one. I don't know. I feel like the one that sticks out in my brain maybe was two, mm -hmm. but then three was good, and then also three and four kind of blurred together maybe for me. Yeah, so I wasn't sure which one was yeah, which. Yeah, yeah. But I loved them all really. Dude, like yeah. I was gonna say one for the longest time. One is freaking awesome, dude. Yeah. Again, thank y'all so much for watching this video. And if you guys do want to watch the entire live stream uncut, unedited, and all that stuff, the link is in the description below and it is posted right now on our Patreon. And I'll catch y'all there. Freaking toodles!